Can you imagine being chosen but not called? Does anybody else have somebody that you send them a text, they never answer? I know sometimes I'm that guy, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes I'm that guy because I'm not ready in the moment to answer. But maybe I should get off this illustration, okay? But we are not only chosen by God, listen, we've been called by God. He called us to let us know that we've been chosen, that we have an invitation to the marriage supper of the Lamb. I can't wait for the marriage supper of the Lamb. Man, what a time it's gonna be. You have been chosen. You were once orphaned, not even orphaned, you were homeless. You were a loser. You had no hope, no future. Your life was busted and disgusted. You were lost. And God chose you to come into His house to be a member of His family and to set your feet under His table. And He not only chose you, come on, He called you. He let you know you were chosen. And guess how He let you know you were chosen? through the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is why we have an ordained, anointed duty to preach this gospel, to make sure people know that they are called. And what is the gospel? We have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The wages of our sin is death. We deserve to be punished for our sin. God could not stomach the idea of you being punished for your sin. So he sent Jesus. He took what we deserved on him and said, it is finished. And now he calls us by his Holy Spirit. Jesus said this, nobody comes on their own, but they come through the calling and the leading unless the Father draws them. Some people are like, I don't know if I can do it, Pastor. I got to get my life squared away first before I can answer the call. I'm here to tell you right now, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, they were out in the boat one day fishing with their dad. Jesus came walking up and says, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. There's no way they could have understood it all. There's no way they could have known Known what all was going to happen. There is no way that they could have fully understood it. They just heard the call and the Bible says immediately they got out of the boat and followed Jesus. Just answer the call. We can work out the other stuff later and you're gonna wake up one day after you answer the call. And it's that simple act of faith to say, I just, I believe, I just believe. He'll teach you. You're gonna wake up one day, three, four, five years down the road and say, I am not that person anymore. You know how I know this is true? Is look at Jared. I was there the day he just answered the call. He's not the same person anymore. God has set him free from so much, delivered him from addictions and struggles and renewed the mind, taught him how to be a man of God, taught him how to be a husband, taught him how to be a dad, how to lead his family in the things of God. That's not how he came. It's who he is now because he answered a call. So he's called. We all have a mandate to show up, to serve, to keep that pulpit lit on fire for the preaching of the Word of God because you don't know what week it would be that somebody hears the call and answers the call. A great commitment to the Great Commission and the Great Commandment will build a great church.